Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Look for the real in women. Look for the real in women. Now, let me tell a story. <laughs> I ain't say that in a long time. But, um, you know, I got my Instagram account, and I ain't going to lie. I'll be checking out some fine women, especially if they have that butt dunk. As much as I say brustices, I ain't, I ain't, I'm so-so with brustices. If you got nice ones, okay, I like them. But if you don't, as long as you got something that says that you're female, I'm good. All right? So anyway, there's this woman model. I ain't going to give her a name. You know, because I don't know how what I'm about to say is going to affect her. You know, because I respect their hustle. So, you know, I just follow her and stuff. And, you know, I was always remarks. I was like, wow, she looked damn near perfect. This is, I mean, seriously, facial features, uh, contour of her face and everything, right? And I was like, okay, whatever. She is interesting to look at. Because, you know, they always going to airbrush. You expect that anyway. When they, you know, the skin is just perfect. But then she put up one, but I did think her face, her facial structure was generally, you know, what was presented. Generally. All right. So it's like, you know, she had the perfect female jawline. Because, you know, women got their jawline too, just not like a man. You know, no fat or anything. And face is perfectly contoured, nose and everything, right? All right, that's cool. That That's cool. But then she shared a picture of her with all, without the filters. Without the filters. And I was like, what the heck? Like, with the filters and everything, a true dime or what most men would consider a dime. What most men would consider a dime, a consensus dime. Like, yeah, we always say looks are subjective, but let's just be real. There's some women out there who just got those looks that most men who see those looks and even most women who see them will say, oh, yeah, they're they very attractive. And that's cool. So she came down from a consensus dime. When she showed her true self, I was like, and even said her weight, I was like, wait, is this the same woman? Because if you look at her body weight in the pictures, uh, she looked like she might have been about a good 120. 120, perfect, you know, perfect in the eyes of many. But she did. She shared a post showing her true self about to work out in the gym. And she said, she said her weight is usually between 148 and 152. Now, you know, when we like those bud dunks, those thick women, we don't got a problem with it. But I was like, what? But then I looked at her face and I was like, wait a minute, hold up. How'd she go from a dime to, quite frankly, a five? No, seriously, her face was a five. If you saw her walking down the street, you wouldn't think. If you saw her made-up version walking down the street, you would turn, cars would crash, everything. The police would probably have to direct traffic and pray, probably be some accidents or something. But what she showed there, when she showed her true self, I was like, okay, some dude probably say, oh, yeah, she got, you know, some dude uh, in a working-class environment would say, oh, yeah, she got a fat ass and everything. You know, she got a fat ass, but then her face was, like, extremely average. I was like, what the fuck? I mean, she didn't hardly have any eyebrows. <laughs> but in her regular pictures, she's always got eyebrows. And I was, like, looking at her. And even her nose was contoured differently. Her face wasn't as sharp. She had, like, kind of a, a roundish face. Looked like she could lose some weight off of it. And I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hey, but I just laughed. I just laughed. I was like, yeah, I knew there was some airbrush or so, but god damn. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I'm, I'm just sharing that instance because it's something I've always seen. Let's be real out here. See, a lot of guys, you get a lot of guys, they're like, oh, she got to be beautiful. She got to be a dime or something. Man, the level of makeup women wear out here is scary. Even if you cool with the women. The level of makeup they wear is scary. There have been women who I've gotten with sexually. Once that makeup sweats off or, like, I remember one woman, she actually took a shower before we had sex. And she came out, and I was like, damn, what happened to your face? Because <laughs> her makeup was on expert. I thought her skin was smooth and everything. But it wasn't. 
you know, or another woman and stuff, his face looking real beautiful and everything. Once that makeup sweat off, I'm like, mm, you got some pock marks, you know? And the thing is, I'm going to be real with you. You know, this is, is the women didn't look that bad to me. And I'm going to tell you why. Like, without their makeup. It was just a shock sometimes. I, I admit, it was a shock sometimes because you got some women, they can they can fix up so well, you, you think it's natural, but it wasn't. You know, you know, they take off that hair piece, take off those eyelashes and everything. And you just like, what the? And I'm going to tell you what. Here's the thing. See, some guys get fooled by that. Like uh, when you talk about like some of these sites like OnlyFans where guys are paying money to see pictures of these women. You you seeing a fantasy. You ain't seeing her real her real self. Indeed, like same women, if they were to walk past you in public, you might not say anything. Now, I said before I had uh, been approached to be a model a couple times back in the 90s. So I briefly worked with this modeling company, and then I used to vend a lot at fashion shows. And I would see the models when they fixed up. They look one way, but I've personally known some models when they weren't fixed up who look very average, who look very, very average. Let's be real on something. Most the oh the when people talk about dimes and stuff, there's very few true dimes. Now I've met some. I've met some who just natural. They don't have to put on makeup, or anything, roll out of bed, natural. I've met some, but I could seriously sit down and just count them all. So you know, even when let me let me say in the side when you get some guys saying, oh, I just deal with dimes or something, or even a dating coach or something, I don't even take them seriously. The best they dealing with is a bunch of adjustable women. Now, that's possible. And that's the majority of these women. So you get some guys, they just, I just want to dime. Well, good luck with that. You might have a good chance, better chance of finding Bigfoot. Most of these women out here are in the uh, four to six range. Most of them. Most of them. But that's what you want to deal with. You want to deal with the real in a woman. You want to look for the real in a woman. This is a very key thing that you want to do. You want to find the real. You want to know what she looked like when she don't have the makeup on, when she don't have the body shape and stuff on. If you try, even if you just want to have sex with her, even if you just simply want to have sex, you want to know who she is really. See, too many men are dealing with the mask. Like we've talked about uh, dealing with that mask. A lot of us have. Uh, shout out C. Boogie. He's talked about dealing with that mask that we wear. But see, then when you're dealing with that woman, are you dealing with the real her or are you dealing with her mask? Because when she has on all of that stuff, yeah, she look good and stuff, but she's also playing a role. And that's how a lot of guys get burned. A lot of guys get burned that way. They up there dealing with her representative, her mask and everything, and then get shocked when they find out some things about her. Start off looking for the real little woman. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. And this is something my cousin said. It was some straight game. Like he said, and this before he got married, he said he'd be in the gym, he'd be friendly to all the fat girls. And somebody say, it's not that he wanted a fat girl because his wife is fine as hell. But it ain't that he wanted a fat girl, but he said when he lose all that weight, he wanted them to remember who was friendly to him. (laughs) And this ain't saying going out dealing with some woman that you consider overweight or something if that's not what you like. But it's saying try to see the women in their most natural. See, I like when I see women, not when they fixed up or showing everything. I like seeing women in their sweats. I like seeing, I especially like seeing women in the gym. I love seeing women in the gym. Because then it's like you see them at their most natural. You know, they sweating and everything. They ain't looking good. You know, they got their hair tied back and everything. It's like you see them at their most natural. You actually get a better view of their bodies. Because most women who at the gym, you know, they got got those spandex on workout pants. But you get to see their actual shape. And especially when you're talking to them, they don't have an ounce of makeup on but then you see all their blemishes and everything, and plus they they show them real selves. You know, it could be it could be there or any place. Maybe you work on a job or something with some women who, depending on the nature of the job, don't have to fix up as much. I prefer that. See, look for the real in a woman. 
Because then once you get past all of that other stuff, you see who they really are. See, that's one thing. See, that's a little psychological thing. Once you get past their makeup, once you get past their body shape and stuff, once you see them as they are, that's, that's when that's them, not the mask. See, a lot of guys get burned by the mask. But if you look for the real, and even even if you meet a woman, yeah, she she looking good, got everything on. Just say, you know what? Just say, look, why don't we go out walking somewhere? It's like, no, nah, you don't have to fix up or anything. You don't have to fix up. Let me just see who you really are. And don't be afraid of that shit. And just be realistic, you know? In some previous videos a while ago, I was talking about getting an adjustable seven and a smart man to do it. Because, see, an adjustable seven is this. Okay, one... If she's an adjustable seven, she's a natural seven, which still puts her above average. But then she can fix up to become an eight or a nine. That's the ideal woman. That's the ideal woman because you're seeing how she is. Like I said, some natural dimes, like some natural beauties, roll out of bed beauties exist, and they can hold their beauty into old age. I know some women now in their 50s, and they're still attractive, but they're also real. That's the important thing. But those are still rare. Let's just be real out here. That's extremely rare. You got whole industries to make a woman look a certain way. Whole industries. You know, you got body shape and stuff, uh, push-up bras, everything, makeup, hair, everything to make them look a certain way. So, and that's the majority of women. That's the overwhelming majority. So you, even if you think you're looking for a dime, you probably more likely get a six. But what's wrong with a six? A six is still above average. Boom. And whatever the case, regardless of what you're looking for, you want to see the woman as she really is. You know, not the fantasy, not all of that. You've got to deal with the real, the real, the real. Because especially you want to have sex, let's just be real with it. That makeup melts off with sex. The hair piece might come off if y'all having some rough sex, you know? All of that stuff goes away. I want y'all to think about that. Always look for the real in a woman, and you will do well. So that's all I got for now. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.